be done with that garbage. Uh, at least I hope so. So I'm doing everything I can. A uh, combination of freedom and uh, taking care of the uh, BS. You're going to have uh, to wait for a long time for ETs to enlighten us. Um, and, Drake, I want to comment on what you're saying. Uh, for myself, since November of last year, I started seeing things I hadn't seen since the 80s. Uh, I started seeing contrails that would disappear within 60 to 90 seconds because the skies are so clear. Contrails, not chemtrails. Regular contrails. I've been seeing that for months now. Well, I, I was on TV uh, trying to uh, out this, and, uh, yeah, uh, the difference between a contrail and a chemtrail is a contrail disappears shortly after the aircraft. And it can be extended a little bit, depending on the speed, height, et cetera. But a chemtrail looks like the thing is uh, uh, riding in the sky, like sky riding. It doesn't go away. It stays there. Now, if you keep an eye on that chemtrail, you'll notice that it turns into a cloud. Uh, that's just one form. The other form is the uh, semi-hyperdimensional uh, jet um, engine that they use to cause cloud formation, and it also causes weather, among other things. Now, these are being used in place of uh, cloud seeding and things of this nature. And the only problem is that when they create these clouds, they're good with the but with Mother Nature, and when you mess with that, you don't know the outcomes. Some of the some of that has been blamed uh, for the tornadoes in the South, uh, etc. So um, there's a lot man's got to learn about what he's doing, and we have, I think, a long way to go. Um, personally, I believe that uh, supposedly these uh, um, angels, these where you call them, they're supposed to be able to. Uh, bring our technology up to date so we don't put it up any worse. Uh, one of the immediate things is that we're going to try to clean the planet. Uh, things of this nature. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to be done. Um, there's no reason for unemployment. Um, you know, people should, uh, you know, if they got food to, food to eat, place to live, uh, clothes to wear, and something to do, I don't see what much else there is, especially if that something to do goes along with a combination of their interests and talents. You can find those two, and somebody will work for free almost. Uh, artists and uh, writers and people like that uh, do, do that all the time. So you look at those things and think about it, you know, which way do you want to go and how do you want to get there? Uh, what's the best manner for us to take uh, in terms of just the simplicity of treating each other as you would have them treat you? I mean, you know, there's a lot of little simple things that you can throw in there that uh, answers the questions before they start. That's all I got to say on that one. <laughs> no, Pete, I have not been in contact with the Palladians. Now. Uh... <laughs> and I, oh, I, I just want to want to throw a, a personal note in there for someone in the chat room that talked about an aluminum foil hat. And the only thing I want to say on that is make sure it's not Reynolds Rat because it's not true aluminum and it doesn't give you quite the insulation or protection that other forms of aluminum foil hats will give you when you make them. Okay, go on, Deb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pete, you can wait for the ETs till hell freezes over, okay? But anyways, we have ten minutes left, Drake, and I'd like to have you give a marathon, and I'm sorry, but I'm not taking any more questions. No questions because... Drake is going to take and do give us a short 10-minute wrap-up. Then I'm going to go out with a theme song called Sam Cook, You Send Me. No questions, Anon3051, because you work on it, Pete. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I want to thank everyone here. We've had a record number of listeners today. We've had a record number of people in the chat room. Most of you have been pretty good. Pete, I love you, but you're a pain in the ass. <laughs> Come back again, Pete. Yeah, I do love everyone in this world unconditionally. There's things they do that I despise, though. But that's okay. <laughs> we have a lot of fun here, folks. Remember this. 
I am the boss. End of discussion on that point. And 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 we will never berate you or anything like that. We'll always get the head out with the kindness on it. Kill you with kindness, won't we, Dave? We try. Remember this, everyone that comes in the chat room, I have your IP address and I can track you down if you get really nasty with me, and I will do that. Anyways, Drake, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let you wrap it up for the next eight minutes and then we're going to go. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, we started with a program. We were tasked as requested by the good guys. In, in our government to see what we could do about setting our country. We completed the task according to what they asked us to complete. We decided on our own to offer the same uh, freedom to all 50 states at minimum. In the process, other people in other countries started picking up on some of the uh, broadcasts that I've made in terms of interviews and information that I've outed. And uh, we now have some 20 different nations who are looking to use the same sort of process to set themselves free. Uh, we were hoping at the beginning to simply set our own country free. Uh, we saw that there was a great need to get rid of the uh, Gestapo boot that has been placed on everybody's neck, be that financial, be that physical, or whatever. In the manner of uh, processing this, uh, the people that uh, were principal in the original uh, project uh, alluded to certain things, and when they did, I was able to figure out uh, a chain of uh, contact uh, directly with some of the people they were dealing with and others that were uh, at least at that level or higher. In that process, I've been, giving a, been given over a period of time an extraordinary, an extraordinary amount of information, some of which I am not allowed to discuss, period. Some of it I will be outing uh, as things progress, and some of it I will be uh, putting on uh, shows such as this one. The... Uh, basis of this is that we have been set free. You now have freedom. The responsibility of that freedom uh, comes from the leader that you see in the mirror in the morning. The basis in legality is common law. The basis in morality is the golden rule. The premise of it all is that we have a small planet, and it don't matter what color, it don't matter what funny look you might have, as far as I'm concerned, I probably look just as funny to somebody else. So none of this matters. What matters is that we uh, collectively, as a planet, decide that certain things shall be and shall not be. This means that uh, we will no longer be subject to the evil that men do, that man's inhumanity to man is uh, time over. It is time for all of us to make sure that people have food to eat. This is capable. This is easily done. And this needs to be done. People in the United States going hungry? Give me a break. We're the richest country on the planet almost. I mean, good grief. Uh, where does that come from? Why is it that people suffer? Okay. All of these things need to be attended to. Part of that starts with the freedom. The freedom then boils down from this top-down effort to the bottom-up portion. Now, the, po the bottom-up portion, and I know this may sound like something Obama said, but you can take his and put it in the trash, as you can see what that is. Anybody had not experienced it, go listen to one of his promising speeches and then see what he did afterwards. Okay, so uh, the bottom-up effort is simple. It's called localization. It can be a group in a small town. It can be a group uh, in the country. It can be a group uh, in a large city. It doesn't matter. You need to get together, figure out what can be done, how you can address uh, obvious problems. It could be something as simple as fixing a step on a church or a common walkway, making sure that the railing is, is tight instead of loose and, and flaky, making people feel secure when they want to go for a walk in the evening. I mean, there is a ton of different things that can be done. Uh, but the responsibility 
is going to be exactly up to the individual in terms of those two things I've mentioned. That's common law, common law rights. You have to have an injured party or damaged property or there is no crime. The second part of this in terms of morality is in the golden rule. The golden rule states very simply, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So the judgment, the harshness of judgment or something where a person is judged by an appearance or something said rather than the actual content of their character may not be correct. And these are the things everybody has to start thinking about. And everybody needs that is awake and aware to any at any level needs to reach out to other people and say, hey, you got problems that people can't answer? I mean, how do you feel about this or that or whatever? Yeah, talk to them. And believe me, you'll get used to it, and it feels good when you see somebody's life light up like a light bulb and improve dramatically because of some little something or another that you did or said. That's where it's at. So we're going to have divine intervention. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. We've got a cleaning coming according to uh, certain things that are getting ready to happen. I'm looking forward to it. And if I had to switch, it had been flipped yesterday. That's just how I am.